Hey guys, it's Dan O'Donnell at PositiveAtmosphere.com and I want to do a little video about perspective and gratitude. Okay, so perspective. I'm in Dubai in 2005, I think, and I'm on a bus coming home from this beach club that I went to and um, there's this guy sitting next to me on the bus. We don't really talk or anything, but he's got this big long roll of papers, you know, like the rolled up documents. Um, and there's all these people on the bus, most of them were construction workers because Dubai was absolutely booming. They were building skyscrapers left and right. And uh, all these construction workers that looked like they'd had a real long day were kind of nodding off, you know, sleeping on the bus. And uh, we get to the stop and I get off and so does this guy with the papers, right? This big tube with some kind of giant papers in it. And so we're kind of walking the same direction and we kind of caught each other's eye as we got off the bus. So we start chit-chatting as we're walking down the sidewalk and uh, so he's an architect, he lives there in Dubai and he's working on some construction project and um, he said, well what are you doing? I said, oh I'm just visiting town just for the heck of it. Where are you headed? Well I'm getting back to my hotel. I don't really know how to get there though. It's on the other side of the river. And I kind of described the neighborhood to him and he said, well I can get you to the ferry um, that crosses the river and stuff. And um, he goes, if you want to walk with me I'll just drop these off at my house and um, then I'll show you where the ferry leaves. And I said, great, cool, because I probably would get lost. So I follow him to his place and we walk through some kind of like side streets and a couple little alleys and stuff. And as we're walking through the alleys, um, it reminded me of the movies you see about New York City way back in like the 1800s or something. Everybody had those clotheslines that go across between the windows, you know, on one building to the other building. And they've got their clothes out there drying. Um, probably I'm guessing they're doing their laundry in their sink and everything like that. It, it was really, it just seemed like I was in a movie. And we walk through a couple alleys and we get to his place. We walk in and, uh, now again, this guy's an architect. We walk in this apartment and it's just a little one bedroom apartment. Um, so we walk down the hallway and there's a little tiny kitchen, a little galley style kitchen. And, um, and you know, it just seemed like a typical thing some single professional guy might live in really in a city, no big deal. And then we walked to where he set his stuff down in the bedroom. It was almost like a studio. And there were five bunk beds. So in other words, two doubles and then one single bed. So five beds in this little room the size of my bedroom. Okay, so there was literally just the kitchen and this other room and then a tiny little, you know, bathroom uh, with a shower in there. So, so it was a, like a studio basically with five beds. <clears throat> And I said, oh, you have some roommates. He said, yeah, you know, there's five of us living here. And they all had decent jobs, okay? And these guys, this was boom times in Dubai. Um, this guy I was talking with was from India. Anyway, we, uh, and I don't know where his roommates were from, but a lot of people immigrated to Dubai to get good jobs. So then we leave, and, you know, I didn't say anything about it, but it really got me thinking. He showed me to the ferry. I said, thanks a lot. Really appreciate it. Uh, but, man, that, that hit me. I know that people in other places in other parts of the world have less money than we do here in the US and other, you know, Western Europe, Australia and all of that, but <clears throat> this guy was an architect living with five people in this little tiny one bedroom apartment. So when I hear people now in the US, everybody's talking about how we're in this recession, you know, well, you know, the economy, you know, everything's because of the economy. Well, I just went to the St. Patrick's Day party at a local title company here and we've got it's catered there's free beer and wine uh, everybody's having a good time you know the heat's on the lights are on um, and people are talking about I mean I've heard people actually debate well is this a recession or a depression and I'm thinking are you kidding me okay and I know I mean I don't keep real close eye on the statistics but I don't know what do we have 10 percent 15 percent whatever the unemployment is considered high right now right well, I would argue that we could have 50% unemployment right now and live better than people did 100 years ago. So keep it in perspective, you guys, and be grateful for everything we have. I mean, in my hometown, poverty, honestly, is considered having a bus pass on, a, on an air-conditioned bus and a one-bedroom apartment all to yourself. I mean, literally, you can be at the poverty level and afford that. And, uh, boy... Just keep it in perspective, you guys. Uh, we are very lucky here in the U.S., and I don't know where you're sitting when you're watching this video, but really think about what some people go through, and uh, before you complain, give it a little bit of thought.
what do you have to be grateful for? And I bet it's a whole lot more than you think it is. I bet you take a lot of things for granted. And uh, I'm not trying to be up on my soapbox lecturing you either. Um, I do the same thing. I had, uh, I used to have two vehicles, right? And I had to sell one, you know, because I needed some money. I was a little short on money at the time. So I had to sell my 1965 Ford Galaxy with the, you know, metallic blue paint and the chrome and silver. And, you know, it was like a really nice looking car and I hated to sell it. But, uh, you know, can I, can I really feel sorry for myself because now I only have one vehicle, you know? Uh, so keep it in perspective, you guys. That's the mes message for the day. It's all about gratitude. Um, if you consciously think every day about what you're grateful for, I have a flashcard in my car that says thank you, um, dot, 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 so that it prompts me to think of what I'm thankful for. And every morning when I'm driving to work or wherever I'm going, I think of at least th three things that I'm thankful for. And sometimes it's as simple as the vehicle I'm driving in, the fact that the sun is out, and my dog, because he's always right there behind me, so I tend to think of him a lot. Um, sometimes I think about, you know, my health, my parents' health, my family's happiness, all that kind of stuff. But really think about how much you have going for yourself, you guys, and uh, you'll feel a lot better about your life. So that's it. I hope to see you guys at PositiveAtmosphere.com. It's all about in, uh, connecting positive people to inspire and empower and it's totally free. So um, hope to see you there. Have a great day.